I'm going to show you how to do a goodness of fit test using Excel. I strongly suggest you do not do a goodness of fit test chi squared in SPSS. It gets kind of confusing. You can do it, uh, but it's just a little bit over my head, so I just do it by hand in Excel, relatively easy. But for a regular um, test of independence for chi squared, do use SPSS. It's pretty easy. So Brittany, the new owner, is checking her weekly sales to what the previous owner told her. Okay, so we're going to run the chi-squared test. And again, this is a goodness of fit test. Do her numbers match the stated numbers? So first thing you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to subtract one from the other, get the difference between the expected and the actual, or observed. So there's the differences. Don't worry about the negative numbers because the next step is to square them. So these are the differences between the two values squared. The third step is we're going to take these squared values, we're going to divide them by the expected values. And then we're going to add those up. Boom. That is your chi-squared test statistic. So we're going to look up this value in a table, the old-fashioned way, but we need the degrees of freedom. So the degrees of freedom is the number of rows, minus 1, times the number of columns, minus 1. So it looks like 2 minus 1 times 7 minus 1 is 1 times 6 is 6. Okay, let me pull this one up for you. All right, so we got degrees of freedom. We're going to use this row, 6, and our chi-squared value was 8.05, so it's between these first two right here. So you run your fingers up, and so the p-value for that chi-squared test was between 0.2 and 0.25. So you would write it up like this. This is the APA formatting, right? The chi-squared, 6 is the degrees of freedom, 14 is the total sample size. There's 14 people in there, 14 pieces of data. There's your chi-squared test statistic, and p-value is greater than 0.05. Let me show you how to find the actual p-value using Excel. Now remember, the, the chi-squared... Distribution is skewed to the right. This is the this chi-squared distribution. It looks just like the F distribution. But we're going to pick a cell. Any cell, we're going to go to the function bar. Make sure you're in statistical. You're going to go down to chi-squared. Be careful, there's a lot of them. But now we want the chi-squared distribution to the right. To the right. Type in your chi-squared test statistic. And your degrees of freedom. Click OK, and there it is right there, which pretty much agrees with what the table said, which said it was between 0.2 and 0.25, which is it. So there was no significant difference between her sales and the previous owner's stated sales. So she got a good buy. Yay. That's it. MGZ out.